Hey everyone, just wanted to stop by very quickly just for a quick message for any of you who are using my channel for A-level biology at the moment. So one of the things that I've done for the GCSE course, which you may or may not know, was that I actually wrote these little things called pocket boosters to take you through the course in a super handy little helpful pocket book, basically. Now, I'm not going to be able to do that for the entire A-level course that easily, because as you well know, if you are an A-level student, it's quite long and therefore carrying around the A-level in your pocket, you're going to need some big pockets. However, there is one bit of the A-level course that I know that my students always find a little bit tricky, and that is the maths side of things. So what I've actually done is I've put together, and you'll have to excuse the not for resale on the actual tag here, but we've got a new little pocket booster, which is the A-level math skills for your biology course. So you can see it is little pocket size, it's nice and small. And what I've done in there is just take you through a few of those key things that are hopefully going to help you out in the maths course. Now we've started with basically all the real basics, going back to simple things like your different kind of prefixes and therefore the different units and conversions that you might need to do. And then we do work our way through all those different kind of key aspects of math that you are going to need. Now, where I have been able to find something to help you use your calculators, because that does seem to be a problem for some people, I have given you little hints and tips on how to actually use your Casio calculator. I'm not doing for everything. Casio are the most common, so that should work there. And it will take you through all of these different things. So when you want to know how on earth do we actually calculate chi-squared, for example, then I'll take you through it. I've given you some little examples so that you can work through. So. You can obviously get these on Amazon. So it's on amazon.co.uk. It comes in the fun-filled little paperback version if you literally want it in your pocket as a little book to flick through. Or there is the ebook version, which is a pound cheaper and probably a little bit easier for everyone with technology in their pockets these days. So obviously, if you think it's useful, please head on over, have a little look, see if you can make good use of it. And give me your feedback. Did you like it? Did you hate it? Have I put some stupid typo in there? Please let me know. Usually my students are very good at telling me about my typos, but you know, you might find one that they have missed. Hope you enjoy it.